To learn Tony Sofa, you need a combination of listening exercise and singing exercise. Don't worry if you consider yourself not a singer. Just make sure you learn how to sing in tune, and that is how you get started. The goal is to recognize and reproduce each of the sofas or each of the notes of the scale in their sofa notes. For example, we hear a sound that sounds like Do, you should know that the sound is Do. So that is the goal, to recognize each, each of the notes of the scale in their sofa names. For example, listen to this. Listening exercise help you to train your ear to spot out those notes which you've heard and singing exercise help you to reproduce each of the notes you've heard. So let's get started. Five ways in which you can use to get any tonic so far of any song of your choice. Uh, one of the benefits of knowing the surface of a song, it helps you to transcribe, it helps you to uh, write out a song, it helps you to develop ear training. You just heard a song, oh, that is so la so fa mi re do mi do la. All right. So these are the benefits of knowing uh, your tonic so far, even without anybody telling you. So five ways in which you can use to get any tonic so far of your choice of any song you, you've heard by just listening, developing your listening exercise. Number one, by learning. Learning. How do you learn? Learn the sound of each of those notes. We have chromatic scale. Learn how those sound like. Learn the few notes. First of all, start with your major scale, which are the do, your major notes. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Sorry. How does it sound like? Do, don't just say it, learn the sound of each of these notes. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Start by learning each of these notes. Each of these few notes, it comes gradually. Get familiar with the sound. That is number one. Number two, by listening. Listening to the song you want to reproduce. Make sure you are familiar with it. Know the sound. You probably you might even know the lyrics. For example, you are singing a song, you don't even know how it sounds like, you don't know the difference in pitch. You should listen to the song you want to reproduce. Alright, so the third uh, way in which you can get to know any sofa of any song is by singing it. By singing the sofas. For example, uh, you pick a song like, um, Yes, you are the Lord, Most High. Yes, you are the Lord. Most high. Okay, so you know the song, you can sing it, then you sing it in the sofa names, in their sofa syllables. Uh, the syllables we have do re mi fa so la ti do. How do you sing it? You don't know how it sounds like. Okay, you are familiar from the first uh point learning the sound. You are familiar with do re mi fa so la ti do. So do yes. Do, do, re, yes, you, do, re, mi, do, la. Learn how to sing the song uh, in their syllable. Fa, mi, do, re, mi, do, ti, re, do. So you can get to know this if you're familiar with the, the, the notes already. I am singing it because I'm familiar with do re mi do la fa mi do re mi do ti re do. But what if we don't even know how it sounds? This leads us to the next point, which is humming. You hum, you hum to get the sofa of a song. All right, the sound now go. Do re mi. You pick up your viral or your pen. You note it down. Do re mi. Do re mi do. Do re mi do. Now you can see. Do re mi do. So it's. Do re mi do. Mm, 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 
So you get familiar with the pitch. Do re mi do la. So there is a connection between the pitch that happened from when you started learning or you've learned the sound. So when you come to homey, it becomes more easier for you. So with homing, you easily get the, the notes of any song of your choice. Then the next point, which is your number four point, is learning by default. Learning by default means uh, you, you go to the song, you ask somebody, your keyboardist, or maybe from your saxophone or anything, you pick the key. Okay, it's, yes, you are the Lord most high. You cram it, you get to know it. Me, me, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do, 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 re, do, ti, la, so. Mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do, do, mi, do, re. So, do, do, ti, do, re, re, do, re, mi, do, ti, la. So, you know it by default because you've been practicing it you've got used to it by maybe cramming or you associate yourself with the song so when you learn song by constant rehearsal it becomes part of you that even when you hear the song you're familiar with the song oh by default your ear have gotten used to it and the last uh method you can use to know uh, any song is by practicing you keep practicing on your saxophone or you practice the re mi, you practice your scale. When you get practice uh, all the time, you realize that you easily get used to the sound, that you try to figure it out and you see that it's working. So you can use five of this way to help you get any software of your choice. Uh, however, all these things comes with time. It's a gradual thing. So make sure you keep practicing. The more you practice, the more you get used to it. Don't forget listening and singing exercise help you to get the sofa of any song. If you find this video interesting, please don't forget to like, comment, drop your uh, comment. If you have any addition to this or if you have any question, you can drop your comment and you can subscribe if you have not subscribed. Thank you. See you in the next video. Make sure you don't stop practicing. I still remember myself that myself. God bless you.